Okay, in this video we're going to talk about graphing systems of linear inequalities. And this will be example one of a system of linear inequalities. <coughs> so in this one I'm going to graph the inequality y greater than or equal to 2x plus 1, and then um, also y less than or equal to x plus 4. And we're looking for the solution to the system. Okay, so it's going to have to satisfy both inequalities. Well, to graph these, I pretend basically it says y equals 2x plus 1. And I recognize that as being in slope-intercept form, where the, x, the coefficient on the x, remember that's our slope. So our slope in this case is 2 over 1. And then the number just hanging out, that's our y-intercept. Okay, so when I go to graph this one, it says there's going to be a y-intercept of positive 1. When it's greater than or equal to, they'll make the line solid. If it's just less than, and maybe I'll make my other part just less than, they'll make it dashed. Okay. So, all right. Um, so I know my y-intercept is 1. It says the slope is 2 over 1. So if I go up 2 points and over 1 point, I'll have another point on the graph. This will be the point 3 comma 1. And now if I just play connect the dots, um, that'll be the equation of the line. But we needed the equation, we need the graph of the inequality, okay? So here's just the graph of a line, okay? Kind of a, hopefully not a too horrible of a line. So this is 2x plus 1. With inequalities, you're either going to shade above or below the line. Basically, if it's y greater than, you're going to shade above. And the idea is you take a point on either side of the line. So notice if I take the point 0, comma 3, that's going to be a point on this side of the line. If I plug that into my inequality, I have to ask myself, is it true? So if I plug 3 in for y, I have to ask myself, is that greater than or equal to 2 times 0, so I'm plugging 0 in for x plus 1. Well, yes, because 3 is greater than or equal to 1. So again, I just arbitrarily chose a point um, on off the line. 0, 3 was easy to compute, so that's why I picked that one. It satisfies my inequality. That means I shade the whole region above my line. All right, so that's the first part here. Now we're going to have to go back and graph our other line as well. Clear this out a little bit. Okay, so a little a little sloppy here. Um, the graphs get a little cluttered on these. Same way I've got a graph now y less than or equal to negative x, and I could rewrite that as negative 1x plus 4. Well, again, this line's going to have a y-intercept of 4, so I can put a little dot right there. And then it has a slope of negative 1, so what that means is I have to go down one unit and to the right one unit. Okay, so if I go down one unit and to the right one unit, notice I'm going to intersect right here at this point 3, comma 1. And since it's less than, we just shade it with a dashed line. or we connect it with a dashed line, is usually the notation. So this is the line y equals negative x plus 4. The same way you have to take a point off of this inequality, you have to take a point off the line um, negative x plus 4. Notice if you plug, again, 0, 3 in there, if you plug 3 in for y, 0 in for x, you will get a correct value. And again, if you have the y isolated, if it's y less than, you'll shade below the line. And what you're really looking for is the overlap of these two regions. So the actual system to this inequality is going to be the overlap. And then we have our little dashed line. But it'll be this region, this kind of left-hand region. If you take any x and y dot, any coordinate in this region, it says if you plug it into both inequalities, that point will satisfy both inequalities. All right, so this is uh, example one. I think I'm going to do a couple other, others of these with some uh, more inequalities. Um, 
hopefully my graphs, I'm going to try to make a point to make them not as cluttered. Um, but this is the basic idea in all of them. Uh, again, just depending on how many inequalities you have, you're just going to get, um, you know, your region's going to get chopped up a little bit more. So, all right, I hope this helps.